So um, I wanted to present my new photography series, Mod Cake, and this is the first image from the series. And as Helga said, it's inspired by a Slavic mythology. Mythology, and I'm gonna tell you more about it. So, um, what I find interesting about the Slavic mythology is just it's not just the higher gods and de deities that are there, but it's also quite a lot of quite common supernatural beings. Like this is some kind of house elf, it's called Domovoy in Russian. So, um, and that's something quite common, but it's not really good or evil, it's just something in the middle, quite temperamental and kind of growing out of the environment of the house itself. And so this is a painting of this Domovoy or a house elf from the 1920s. It's not very authentic, I just think it's quite funny. So I picked it and it shows how many variations exist of this creature. So um, that's what attracted me a lot about this particular theme that um, a lot of versions of this creature exist uh, codependently without um, without uh, contradicting each other for just use this an example from a film of Haruki Murakami it's like a, a forest spirit who <laughs> changes its shape a lot as well throughout the film and what I found particularly interesting is just those characters are changing so much and there's even the theory that they're invisible by default and they only are taking a shape when looked at. So I tried to convey this idea into the artworks as well. So you have a feeling that it's something quite invisible but becomes visible when you look at it. And I tried to preserve the state that it's something that kind of looks out of you from the dark but at the same time it could be quite anything depending who looks at it and why. It's something like looking for shape in the clouds or like a shadow or something quite open into interpretation. So. That's a photography series and I was working with uh, found objects and with fabric and quite using a lot of textures and also the found frames as you see. Um, and looking into this mythology has brought me quite a lot into this idea of ritual because to make a communication with these creatures you need very specific instructions and you need to follow specific rules. And then you can um, you can get something out of it. Perhaps they can foretell your future. Perhaps they can help you somehow. But only if you play it right. So it brings me to my next artwork. Um, it was a sculpture series that I made alongside it. And here I play with this idea of ritual. And uh, the sculptures are called. It's from a series called Sunrise. And I tried to put together an imaginary script for the ritual. And just put the ingredients together, but y what actually happens remains quite open to the viewer. And um, so I like to keep this idea of ritual quite open-ended, so it depends very much on what you want. Um, and here I started work more with textiles rather than found objects because I always usually use more ready-mades. But here I constructed some things really from scratch and working with found uh, objects and uh, artificial leather and stitching a lot of things together. And yeah, <laughs> so um, yes, as I said, uh, like this idea of potential that is not realized and waiting to happen. So <laughs> um, yeah, and there are some questions for me and <laughs> yes, <laughs> they're quite funny questions. So, uh, do you ever have a feeling that there's a creature living under your uh, in, uh, in your cupboard, under your bed, or in a dark corner? Because I think there are quite a lot of them. You know, they're, they're stereos looking out of the corner and stuff blinking and the shadows. So, uh, who has the last word in defining what the artwork is about? The artist or the viewer? Um, what, how, what, uh, what would you describe as being alive and why? Animal, plant, rock, building, art. So I try to work a lot with that as well. Where does it start to be alive and where it stops? So, uh, Photography and sculpture, do you know any other artists who are mixing those two techniques and in what way? Because I'm interested could I work in that way and I'm curious. Uh, and yeah, just could you suggest some art spaces or curators who might be interested in this project? So, And there's my website underneath so you can see more. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Helga. <laughs>